All right, folks, this gives you an idea. I just, uh, I actually just was running to another spot and I randomly picked this spot. Um, and it's a huge ledge and it's got a ton of fish on it. So we're gonna see what we can do. We've been marking fish like this all day long. And uh, so hopefully we can get into something. But as you can see, there's a ton. I don't know if that's all bait or what, but there's a ton of fish down there. Oh, oh come on! Jesus! Immediately. Was it immediately? Was it immediately? It was immediately. <laughs> Did you make it to the bottom? <laughs> I think it's a big one. I think it's a big one. What do we got? You better hurry up, that shark's on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a big one. No. I think it's a big red grouper. No. Yep. He yeah. might keep though. He's pretty close. close. That's a decent one. Yeah. I'm the cameraman. Come on. You got two hands. He's going to be close. Yeah. He's gonna be real close, actually. What are you using for bait? This is a uh, little small thread bin or a little small sardine, I should say. Oh, what is that? Is that a vermilion? Yep. Oh, oh no! Oh, lost two at the boat that was a like pretty that? good size yep. vermilion snapper, too. Oh, that was on camera, too? Yes, it was. Of course, it was. I got a bunch of sucky anglers on the boat today. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What? Uh. It feels pretty good. Good head shake too. I'll get it up before the shark eats it. Got Quit color playing right now. Him. You're not marlin fishing. Red grouper. Big red grouper though. That might keep. No. No, stop. Your other one didn't keep. He ain't keeping. You're right. Well, um, I thought I had one. I thought I had a triple hookup, but actually this red grouper ate both of our baits. He ate my slacker and he ate Drew's, <laughs> Drew's uh, live bait. Greedy. Greedy. And then Kevin over here is catching jacks again. You know how my, I, I go out and we never catch those things. <laughs> now you've caught two of them. Sorry. <laughs> Smoking. Yeah, I know, right? No, he's going home. <laughs> Kevin is just putting it to us right now. Uh oh. I think it's another one of those jacks. Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh. This definitely feels different. Triple header. Oh, nice. You got a red. Oh. I got a red. Red grouper. Red grouper. Oh, big, big red grouper. Bigger. Three reds in a row. Yeah, triple Jeez. header red grouper. So hey, you, got, you, got one of, you got one of your guys' baits in his mouth. <coughs> Mine's a fatty. You got two people's baits in his mouth. Look, he's got a chunk bait down in there, too. Jeez. Oh, nah, it's not 20 inches. No. Dude, right, at, right at the hook. I don't think this is a red. Nope, mangrove. Nice. Really? Yep. Told you it wasn't a red the way he was fighting. Nice. That's a snapper. Oh! How did he get man. off? That was a drill fish. How did he get off? <laughs> Where did they go? They're, no, they're still they're down. Right. Go ahead. Start. Step by me. No, no, go, go, go. Drop. Yes. Look, they're right there. Just drop. They're either mangroves or they're yellowtails. I can't tell. Big mangroves. Yeah, baby. 
Yep, that's what they are. Big mango. Whoa. Nice. Wow. Oh, shark. Oh, he's getting up. Get him, get him, get him. There's two of them. No, no. That's, a, that's a cobia. You got a cobia on it? There's a cobia on the shark. Oh, look at the signs that man. Yep. That is an absolute pig. Nice Whew. and done. That shark just swam right underneath the boat. Wow. My drag is definitely tight now. <laughs> I know they're down there. Yep. Look at this big silhouette out there. Is that the shark There's cruising way down. out there? No. They're coming back up there, right there. There they are yep. right there. Oh, so there's, there's a shark right there. So there's yeah, a phobia with that shark, huh? No, leave it on you. I got this one. It's just that helps with reactions and stuff. Coming quicker now. Come on, get that 12-inch red grouper. Ah! Maybe 14-inch. <laughs> Next was Cobia. Cobia. Oh my God! Yep. Big Cobia. Flatline. Got him. Got, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. It's on. It's Mr. Cameraman's cameraman. Yep. Let me know when you're close, I'll just put the rod down. I think we got a Kobe last second. It's so awesome. Seriously. It looked like a keeper. It was 30 plus. He's tiny. <laughs> yep, it's the Kobe. He's gonna be close. Drew's got a fish. We're gonna, I'm gonna, do you have a, do you have a, do you have a, uh, do you have a net? Nope. Oh. Yeah, he ain't ready. You're gonna have to hold on for dear life, bro. Yeah. He's gonna go nuts when you drop him. That's fine. I know they go crazy and they kick like nuts. And... Just lip them. Oh, watch out for that line. Dude. Don't grab that nope. here. Still a spirit. Oh, you know what? No. Okay. Oh, this is yeah. perfect. Well, folks, you never know what you're going to get when you're out and you put out a flat line. That cobia came right up to the boat. And Kevin was able to pitch that bait right out to him and he, he ate it almost immediate. So it's always good to have a flat line prepared. I'm typically pretty bad about it when we go offshore, but I'm gonna start doing it. And uh, so, but hey, we're about done. We're gonna try to catch a few more fish and head back in. But yeah, that's a nice cap to the, to the end of the day. You never, we thought we saw tuna. There was fish blowing up, so we were trying to get them going, and they kind of moved off, and then that Kobe came right up to the back of the boat, and they're real curious like that, so. Well, folks, I just want to say thank you to uh, Drew from Sunray Marine and Kevin Sample with uh, Reef and Reel. I really appreciate them coming along with me on this fishing day. Unfortunately, I had some issues with one of my SD cards in one of the GoPros, and so I missed a lot of the footage and, and I apologize about that, but I think I was able, I, I was able to put together something to kind of show you guys, kind of entertain you guys. And, uh, and just to let you know that we do have a seminar coming up at Reef and Reel on Thursday, May 12th from, and it starts at seven, the seminar starts at seven, but I would recommend getting there a little early. They are gonna have food, they're gonna have beer, they're gonna have Cokes and water and then they're going to have of course the store open 
and then Chad and I will be there doing a seminar talking about a lot of different things. So if you if you have been to a seminar before, please come out to this one because we will change it up a little bit. And if you haven't been to a seminar, you might want to come because we do give out a lot of information and some stuff that we don't talk about all the time on the show. So if you get a chance, come out for that. And I'm also doing a seminar on Friday, May 13th, starting at 6 o'clock at Southeastern Fishing Tackle. They'll have food, they'll have beer, wine, uh, Cokes, all that stuff, and we'll be talking about tar tarpon. And Dr. Kathy with the FWC will be there, and so you'll get two different ways and two different things and thoughts about tarpon. So I think that's going to be pretty interesting. Again, I just want to say thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.